Oh, so Andy, uh, how much, what did I ask you to bring? It was one speaker, yeah, one, <laughs> one fallback speaker. Andy, Andy brought that and that. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's uh, not even the fallback. And, and you know he's claiming he's doing all right. He's, he actually has he's, he's packed light. He's, he's claiming he's packed light too. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I was just like amazed at myself today. I'll, I'll let the people decide if you get props yeah, or not. Okay. Like, I think it's totally. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Preparation for yeah, this piss Hey, you never know. Some of my shit might fuck up and yeah, we need That's replacements. Right. Like, yeah. You know. You know. <laughs> you know, all right, I got a little later when I brought my own mic stand, but you know, I know yeah. you fucking set me up with, so I just had to take care of business. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know your, your mic stand's a big thing. But no, mic stands are always, it's always good what to have. What's up with this? I can nail it up there. to take these ancestral phrases and tear them apart and turn them into something else. It's like being the jack of all trades and a master of none, but yet it's better than one. We have shortened the phrase to turn it into something else. And this is wrong. In my world, it's wrong. These are ancestral sayings that had meaning that had purpose and to take it and twist it into your own personal perspective and viewpoint because you believe you're right and others are wrong well you got the mirror reversed because you're the one that's in the wrong Yeah, you want to be better than everybody. 
yourself in reference to other external cultures. You must define yourself internally in your relationship with a higher entity. Think of yourself as a manifestation.